The Product tab is where you set up the material schedule list. Items can be set up in two ways depending on your business practice and project bidding stages. Adding an item from the Product and Services database. If you are estimating with product items that are already defined in the main Product and Services database, just add them into the project material list by clicking on the Add from Database icon, navigating to any folder, and double-clicking on any items that you want to add into the project item list. Continue on until all of your project items are added, and then you may close the window. Adding a new item. If you are estimating products that are specific to this particular project and there is no need to save them into the main database, you can use Add Item to create these items. These will be saved with the project only. For beginners, use this approach to set up your material schedule. Setting individual item properties. Click on the Add Item button to add as many items as needed. It may include main covering products such as carpet, VCT, as well as any add-on items such as base, heat rod, etc. The next step is to configure the estimating properties of these individual items. Style code and layout type. Follow these steps first. Double-click on the SKU number and style code columns to set up the product names. Make sure your product name is unique across the project. Layout Type. Next, double-click on the Layout Type column to select its layout property. This step is critical and must be set up properly to get a correct estimation result. For regular roll sheet goods such as carpet, sheet vinyl, select carpet, or vinyl, respectively. Square-shaped products such as carpet tile, vinyl tile, and ceramic tile, set the layout type as tile instead. For installation add items, such as base, underlayment, heat welding rod, select add-on as its layout type. If it is labor or freight, select labor or freight. This will ensure that all items are categorized properly in the worksheet at a later stage. Unit Setup Next, proceed to the Unit column. Another key estimating property is the unit. For area-based products, select square yard, square foot. For linear products, use linear foot. For count items, use each. For grout, use quart, liter, or pound. Width and size setup. Proceed to the width and size column to set material width or size. If it's a tile-shaped item, select one from the pull-down list or simply type in the numbers for the tile size. Display color. This is the color that will be shown on the diagram for this product and also for the legend icon at the report printout stage. Pull down and select the color from the list. Then proceed to setting the sales and cost prices, or you may leave them as zeros if you're only estimating quantities of your scheduled items. Editing item details. Most of the estimating properties of a product can be set up with this table. A complete view of a product estimate properties can be opened by right-clicking on a product and selecting the view slash edit command.
add-on association. In floor estimation, installing major covering materials requires add-on items as well as labor costs to get the job done. Measure Square allows you to associate the add-on item with the major covering material. Let's try associating the heat weld rod with our sheet vinyl. Left click to select sheet vinyl, then click on edit to open the property window. Under product add-ons section, click the add button. Upon the pop-up window, navigate to find the heat weld, select it and click OK. You will see that the heat welding is listed in the product add-on tabs. Click OK again. In this way, wherever the sheet vinyl goes, the heat rod will get applied as well. Save and loading project items as a template. Material item lists can be saved as a template and be loaded for new projects. This is a useful feature for similar types of commercial jobs. Use the Save Template icon and Load Template icon. This can be accessed from the Project Item menu as well. Project Item Panel and Menu Commands After you set up your project scheduling, click on the Takeoff tab and you will see your products you have just created on the left bottom under the Project Item Panel. 